my dad and I stole my mom's car from the airport. So, here's the background. My mom and I met my adoptive father when I was six. We both had baggage, but he took us in with open arms and loved us despite this. My mom was abused by my bio dad and so was I. I ended up dealing with my bio dad till I was in my early teens but both my adoptive father and my mom eventually helped me escape him. My adoptive father and my mom eventually had my sister, who I'm very close with. My adoptive father is my favorite person in the world. He's sweet and kind. He's caring and will do anything in the world for the people he loves. He's helped me so much and I consider him more of a parent to me than either of my parents you'll see why here shortly. I'll be just calling him my dad from here on. Fast forward to when I was in my senior year of high school, my mom and I didn't really get along. She would randomly be upset for a couple days and take it out on me and my father, before suddenly being all happy and doting. At first, I thought it was due to her disability she had been disabled for years, but I began to get suspicious when she suddenly would get off the phone when I entered the room or would randomly leave the house more than usual. One day, my dad and I were in the car, about to pick up my sister from school. He turned down the music and asked me if I had noticed my mom acting weird. I said I hadn't mentioned to him that I thought she was being secretive about something or someone. He told me that he thought she was cheating. He apparently had gotten notifications that she had signed up for a dating website he had access to her email so he could help with her disability stuff. I was not surprised, but what really set it in stone that she was cheating on my dad was that when I was at a doctor's appointment with my mom I saw her get a flirty text from someone not my dad and she smiled before trying to hide her phone from me again. I didn't let her know I knew, neither did my dad. We didn't tell my sister either, we didn't want to sway her feelings about her mom. The only reason my dad told me was because he knew I'd figure it out. My mom claimed she would be an amazing spy, but she was very obvious. One day, my mom said she was going on a trip with her friends. She said they would be going to a place within our state, which was a huge mistake on her part. My dad got a feeling and checked her car's location after she left. The car was under his name and has a feature where you can check its location. The airport. She was going out of state, to see her boyfriend funnily enough, the boyfriend she's still with today. Now, my dad doesn't get petty that often. He's very calm and handles his emotions well, but for whatever reason that night, he'd had enough. My sister was at a friend's house and my partner and best friend were sitting with me in the living room. He came in, pulled me aside and asked if I would like to go with him to get my mom's car, and where it was. I immediately said yes and informed my partner and my best friend of our mission, and we all hopped in my car and headed to the airport. My dad got out of the car, beeped my mom's car so he could find it and then in the two cars, we all drove back to our house. We didn't tell my mom. When she came back, we think she had a friend bring her home she didn't say anything. She knew she had been caught. My mom and dad are divorced now. I live with my dad when I'm not at university. My dad is with a lovely lady who appreciates him now. I don't talk to my mom anymore. She did other things to hurt our relationship as well. I'm happy and safe. But yeah, I legally stole a car with my dad. Edit. Reclaimed is a much better word we didn't steal cause it was technically my dad's car cause it was in his name, so we reclaimed it. Story 2, all I asked my ex fiance was to respect one major boundary for our open relationship. He crossed it, but wants to keep acting like nothing happened. I 25F met my ex fiance will refer to him as J23 meters 2 years ago, he was fresh out of a divorce and we were both poly. We dated for a year before he asked me to marry him and I agreed on the condition that we would have a long engagement. During the past year, he has had a lot of partners and a lot of his other relationships would slowly become all-consuming to him as in he would text them all the time, take them out on dates, and dote on them constantly while essentially neglecting our relationship and then out of nowhere, everything would turn sour and they would stop talking. I became friends with a lot of his other partners, and of course they would stop talking to me as soon as they broke up with him. After a particularly bad breakup wherein his ex was a long time friend of mine who ended up blocking me on everything after, I set a hard boundary that all of my friends were absolutely off limits to him. Long story short, I befriended this girl online and after a month of talking to her he asked to join our games. We would all play games together for hours on the weekends and we played everything from FPS games to Stardew, Pokemon and Minecraft. Jay came over to me in September 2022 and told me he liked her a lot and I reminded him of the newly set boundary that he would not go after my friends again. I really liked having her around, 
and I was sick of dealing with losing friends. Well, fast forward three months and he accidentally hands me his phone and takes mine as we were leaving for work both iPhone 14, it wasn't a problem as I had his passcode and he had mine so we could operate for the workday, and at some point I get a notification from Discord and it's our online friend. She had sent him an NSFW picture with a good morning text. He was officially cheating and the funny thing was that he made an entire Discord server and categorized the cheating. I was heartbroken and broke it off with him, and blocked her she had been encouraging me to break up with him for a couple of weeks as I had opened up to her about my struggles with potentially being asexual. In a weird twist, his other two partners broke up with him for different reasons the next day and he lost his job, so he has been a wreck since all this went down. In all of this I somehow became his only support and he's been begging me to just play act like none of this happened between us. Like I wasn't betrayed by him in an open and poly relationship that he managed to cheat in. He wants me to hop on and play games with them like they didn't actively betray me for close to 3 months. My heart hurts, I loved him so much and now every time he says I love you I don't say anything to him. I moved myself into the office to wait out the lease and bought myself a new bed, but he's been begging me to come cuddle him every night. All of this and I'm still being civil and try my best to encourage him to find a job he worked at Google. I'm not gonna lie, I felt satisfied seeing him suffer in his relationships and beg for my support. I offered him the same empathy I would offer a stranger, because losing your job is an awful thing to happen. I gave him nothing outside of that. All of this and my friend is begging to get another chance to earn my trust again while pressing him for monogamy he showed me their exchanges. He started therapy and is begging me for another chance. He's been doing his best lately to win me back and thinks that me being civil and kind is a good sign that we'll get through this. But it'll be a cold day in hell the day I take back a cheater and a liar. I let him believe what he wants, I let him delude himself into thinking this will be just another thing that he can get away with. Meanwhile I've been silent. Plotting my exit. And sure as hell not associating myself with her. And just to get my petty revenge. I burned the Stardew Valley world that they fell in love while making to the ground and burned down their Minecraft server, too. I can't wait to leave. I can't believe I compromised my peaceful solitude for this dumpster fire of a relationship. Two years paid to learn this lesson, and I'm not paying a single day extra after my lease ends. Redditor's reactions next story after. Redditor 1, you dodged a bullet here. His boundary crossing is bad but it's also super problematic that all his exes blocked him and you on everything. That means he is not treating them well at all and did not treat you well when in other new relationships. Op answer, I didn't mention it, but after talking to my friend and some of his exes, he was apparently using me as the excuse to break up with some of them. Or as the reason why he wanted to set a certain boundary. Long time friend and I have been talking a bit and we have a lunch together in two weeks when she has time to drive into town. Redditor too, so that a guy in his early 20s is already divorced and asked you to marry him after one year wasn't enough of a red flag to you? Redditor follow up, bro I thought I was the only one who thought this. How the hell do you consider getting engaged with a 23 year old who got divorced at 21? Redditor 3, I'm not a boomer, but I feel like one when I read about these super chaotic relationships. I could never deal with all of this. Multiple partners, trying to set limits on who my fiancé can and can't sleep with, cheater leaning on me for support. Just know, Redditor follow up, I'm 37 and the entire concept of being divorced and poly at 23 is insane to me. I don't even think I knew that poly was a choice at that age. Story 3, my girlfriend cheated on me with my instructor. I have been in a relationship for about a year and four months. It has been a tough relationship because of my girlfriend's depression. I am in the military, that is why I spend from Monday to Friday inside the base because I'm still a cadet. Her past relationship was with an officer, which I knew in my first year in the academy, that is why she still has some officer friends in her circle. A couple months ago I was awarded because of my performance during the past year and when I told her that I wanted to celebrate it, she told me that she already had plans to go to an all-officers party, as a friend's partner. I have never been of the jealous kind, so I had no problem with it, just the fact that it was an important day for me and she still preferred to go out with someone else. I told her I would go out with my cousins and she asked me to come back home so we could at least sleep together, I thought it was kind of cute and said I would do it. A friend of mine was in the party and told me every sketchy thing she did, flirting on people and sexually dancing with other men. I still did not get bothered because of it and kept celebrating with my family. She still answered my texts and all. Late at night, she told me they were going to an after-party to the single officer's apartment complex. 
I just didn't want to bother her, so I stopped texting her. When I came back home, she was not there and didn't come back until 10 a.m. next morning. She started apologizing way too much, which I thought was not normal, because she just slept somewhere else. A little later that day, she started crying and told me she kissed someone else, a little kiss while dancing. It made me sad, broke my heart because I never thought she would do something like that and the fact that she did it in front of the people who will be my bosses made it even worse. She apologized and I accepted her apologies. Back in the academy, the word spread and people who saw her, told me they were kissing for a while, flirting with each other and who it was with. An officer who was my instructor when I just got in the academy, an actual f-boy which I think is gross and the opposite of me. I do not know what to do now, I do not want to break everything we built, we live together and every project I have in my life are centered on her and what we had. I have spent two months trying to feel as I did, loving her back but it is just not the same. Yesterday I told her I would try my best to fix our relationship and definitely set my mind to have what we used to have, but everything remembers me of what she did with someone I know and will work with in the future. English is not my native language, so I apologize for the grammatical flaws I might did. Update, I broke up with her yesterday, I feel like I will never recover from this. I still love her but I know it was the right thing to do. Story 4, really wish I would have just stayed home. My girlfriend came over to my apartment today to study and do some homework as she still is in university. When she arrived and started to unpack, she noticed her laptop wasn't in her bag and being the good boyfriend I am, I told her to not worry and that I will drive over to her house and grab it. I really wish I hadn't. My GF still lives at home and I am really close to her parents. Both of us are. In fact I see them as my own. Reason being, my parents are toxic and it's best to go no contact with them for my own sanity. Her father on the other hand is a positive male role model in my life, great job, positive attitude and always gives good advice emo. He's a great guy, not much else to say. I think highly of her mother as well, caring, loving and always supportive of my relationship with her daughter. They both love me and it's the reason why today shocked me to the core. I have a key to their house and as I entered living room as first room upon entry I see my future mill and some stranger having s time. Fully nude, not hiding anything. As soon as they saw me my mill started panicking and both ran into the back of the house away from me. I heard my mill cursing over and over. As soon as I realized what was happening I just backed out of the living room and stood on the front porch. I honestly didn't know what to do. It didn't feel like my place to confront them as it's not my fight. So after about 5 minutes, I re-entered to see the stranger walk past me out of the door, followed shortly by my mill. As he left she looked to me and started crying. She broke down and tried explaining the situation away. How their marriage had been suffering and how she loves Phil but feels so unsatisfied. She begged me not to say anything, that it was a mistake and it would nuke the family. She was hysterical, I just sort of looked at her. What was I supposed to say? The begging wouldn't stop. She even grabbed onto my shirt. She wanted me to not say anything and let it be swept under the rug. I told her flat out that I'm not lying to save herself. She then begged to be the one to tell Phil, to at least give her that. So in the interest of getting the duck out of there I just said sure and went to retrieve what I was there for. I then went immediately home. I haven't told my GF yet as she's still working on assignments but I plan on telling her afterwards. I'm sad. It's devastating knowing that the comfortable family I found and felt finally a part of, is about to be nuked into the sun. I can't imagine how my Phil is going to take this, he's a good guy and definitely doesn't deserve getting his heart broken like this. I'm also sad for what my girlfriend is about to hear and what will come of it. It's such a huge poopy situation that I wish I never had any part of. My poor GF and Phil. Update, Mill cheated now the family is destroyed. Update on the original post I wrote last night. A lot has happened, so I told my GF everything I saw when she finished her homework. She was devastated and crying like I have never seen before. We talked for a good few hours, where she disclosed to me that her mom had cheated on her father once before when she was just a child. The affair partner was a boss from her work and had gone on for a few years by that point. She only knew about it later down the line because a family member told her. After I settled her down I could tell her sadness turned to anger. Around 2 in the morning she insisted we go confront her mom and tell her father everything. I tried talking her out of it and to do this on another day and at a better time but she doubled down saying her mother doesn't deserve peace. So we ended up at her parents house early in the morning. They were just settling into bed. The look on my mill face was obvious she knew what was coming. It was ducked up. 
I have never seen my girlfriend scream and cuss someone out so hard. Every single possible insult was used. My GF told her mother that she's going no contact for good. When things calmed down her father was clearly baffled and had a lot of questions. I told him everything. What I saw, what I was doing, why I was there and what Mill said to me. I could tell I just sank this poor man's heart. His eyes filled up with tears but he just remained silent. I guess she hadn't told him, which I knew was the plan all along. Typical ducking cheaters. After another 20-30 minutes of cussing, screaming and crying, I was able to get my GF and I to leave. I felt so bad for her and Phil. I felt responsible for destroying a what I thought was beautiful family. I mean I don't regret at all spilling the beans, but I just wish I wasn't at the center of it all. I don't want to break the people who I love, hearts. Feels like a nightmare and reality was just turned upside down. When we got home I got a text from Phil saying, thanks for being honest and transparent with him. He said he loves me and that we will get through this. He's a great guy. I just can't believe that piece of poop woman did this to him. After a night of little, to practically no sleep, I got out of bed this morning and made some breakfast for my girl. We talked and I think she handling better now but still not great. I invited Phil over if he wanted a place to stay or just to lay low for a while. He surprisingly took me up on the offer and came over shortly after. GF, Phil and I had a pretty lengthy conversation on how he felt and what the next steps are. He looked disoriented but managed to handle himself well, given all that has happened. It's clear he's deeply in love with Mill. He kept saying he wants to try and fix it. GF and I both think that's a bad idea. He told us that the person Mill originally cheated on him with, was the same guy she was having s time with. It had been over a decade since she was first caught and must have keep this man in the shadows. I can't believe he's willing to work through this knowing that. I couldn't at all. My GF later asked where her mom was. Apparently she left in the middle of the night after we left. No one knows where she's at. I wouldn't be that surprised if she was at her AP's house. Honestly I'm sick to my stomach over it all. I feel like I destroyed a family. The people who I really care about are broken and hurt. It really sucks. I hate it all and wish people would just be decent human beings. Story 5, wife had online only affairs. Came across my wife's DMs after an argument we had about my egg DMs. She had accused me of talking to girls and cheating on her, which I wasn't so I let her go through all my social media. To which she found nothing, however she was still angry and stormed out of the room. So I decided maybe I should check hers out and man did I find conversations with multiple guys insinuating s time, going dates, etc. Some of the messages were pictures back and forth, but it doesn't save the pictures in the chat so I can't say 100% what they are, but I'm pretty sure they are what I'm thinking. She claims to never have met up with any of the guys and never slept with them. Even though some of the conversations would say otherwise. As far as I know we've had a good relationship. Don't argue much, good s time life, no real money issues, never cheated or talked to other women. She claims she did it because she wanted attention and felt insecure about herself and that the messaging was just that. We are married and have a stepdaughter hers and a four years o together. Am I crazy to not believe anything she says about it strictly being online flirty dirty messages? Edit, the messages go back for about three years. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, never, ever believe cheaters. She was projecting her own betrayal onto you and getting mad at you about it. That's not someone whose word you can trust. The excuses are typical. No responsibility taken, but happy to admit that little dopamine hits are more important than her family. Takes a very skewed moral compass to think saying that out loud makes makes her look better. Redditor 2, welcome to round one of the trickle truth. You'd be crazy to take her word for anything. Redditor 3, op do. Not. I repeat. Do not believe one word she says. My advice is to screenshot all the messages and tell her outright that you know she is a cheater and call her out on her projection of her betrayal. Also don't fall for the it was a mistake, it won't happen again bullpoop. This was betrayal. Planned and hidden for 3 years. I always find it wild that a cheater's excuse for cheating is I was insecure and wanted attention hello? How about saying honey, I haven't really felt so wanted and appreciated lately and it's making me feel insecure. To your partner? It makes literally no sense that instead of communicating you would rather humiliate and disrespect your spouse by stepping outside of the marriage to get something only they should provide you.